So I'm once again gonna be using the Jack Patriot kit for the M16 here in Modern Warfare 3. However, this time I'm gonna be focusing on more things like aggression. We are still gonna be limiting the recoil, but we're gonna be focusing less on things like damage range or things like farther range fights. We're gonna be upping the mobility of the weapon quite a bit from my previous build in order to make it more viable due to the fast fire. It is definitely very capable of taking close and especially medium range fights. And you can definitely sprinkle some long range ones in there. It's a little bit of a different build when it comes from me here because you guys know I'm more of like a versatility kind of build person but it definitely does a very good job, especially in the straight speed category. Starting us off here with the first attachment you're gonna need, which is the conversion kit, the Jack Patriot. You guys know this attachment, and I'm sure you know it very well. It's going to basically turn this thing into the M4 by giving it gun kick control, recoil control, damage range, and of course the full auto rate of fire. So by doing this, you are going to be decreasing your damage range, all that good stuff, but we still have a very good headshot damage at 41, increasing the damage range by 8%. Along with that, and most importantly, it's gonna be that large increase to recoil control in order to make it more viable. Our next attachment here is going to be targeting that mobility with the Jack Cutthroat stock. That's gonna give you a large increase to aim walking speed, aim walking steadiness, and overall movement speed. It is going to sacrifice a bit of your recoil control, but at the end of the day, you guys saw from the Jack Patriot kit, it gained a ton so sacrificing a bit here really isn't a massive deal for all that's being gained with the jack cutthroat stock so as you can see here 20 percent to the ads movement speed that is absolutely massive and of course some smaller values there towards movement but the stray speeds are off the charts with this attachment the next attachment you're going to need is a rear grip with the saken zx grip that's going to give you recoil and gun kick control not much to talk about here it's just going to make it a little easier to hit your shots and make up for what we just lost from the stock a seven percent increase across the board towards all of your recoil categories our next attachment is going to be an underbarrel with the paracord grip for horizontal recoil control sprint to fire speed aiming idle sway and aim walking steadiness this attachment is awesome not only because of that massive increase to horizontal recoil control we're also gaining even more ads movement speed that and sprint to fire which is going to help your aggression even further so for our final attachment i do have the purger break for horizontal recoil control and fire aiming stability this attachment is to more or less control the shake on the weapon we are sacrificing damage range and bullet velocity but as i stated at the beginning this is more focused towards aggression and i didn't want to sacrifice any aim down sight speed the casus break does the same thing as the purger if you guys want to run that but you are going to lose aim down sight speed in this case i wanted this one because i don't want to sacrifice any further aim down sight speed it's going to give you an 18 percent increase to horizontal recoil control and of course fire aiming stability here's going to be all those attachments on the screen if you guys wanted to copy this one down and as you can see i titled this thing or named my my blueprint fast best believe that you guys are going to watch in the gameplay this thing has you absolutely cruising strafe and side to side to the point that people can't even hit you here's also the rest of the loadout on the screen if you guys needed to pause to copy this one down make sure you guys are hitting the like and subscribe button for me as always let's jump into today's gameplay to feature my fast m16 jack patriot build hope you guys enjoy no i don't know what it is about the map incline i have been trying desperately since that map came out to not only get a DNA bomb, but also an MGB now. Since the DNA bomb disappeared, obviously I have to go for an MGB. I just can't do it. I don't know why. I just, for whatever reason, I can't get a nuke on that map. I can't get an MGB. I get so many kills on it. So if you guys are down and you don't really care about me getting an MGB on it, you let me know if you guys just want to see a gameplay on it. I can definitely oblige that request. Oh my God, I'm in it. Hold the phone. I'm gonna need these AFKers to dip though. If you're not gonna play, don't play, you know? I'm not interested in, in farming AFK kills. I've nuked Rio enough that I don't need that advantage. I would take it on incline, however. If anybody wants to jump into my lobby and be AFK, I wouldn't be opposed. Where would this guy be on the hill? Oop. It's him. Advanced UAV is him. Oh. Oh. 
What the heck is happening, bro? What the heck is happening? Honestly, this advantage would be a saving my life. Yeah, I can't take this gunfight. I already have another advance. Oh my god, dude, they're just running into me. They're just running into me. There's nothing they can do about it. We're gonna hit a back route here. Ouch. That hurt. We're out. Nope. Uh, that's choking under pressure right there. I have a UAV. We're going to hit it. How the hell is this guy still in the game? We I don't understand. I thought for sure, like, I thought, like, you get kicked out of, out of games really quickly if you're AFK. I swear I've jumped into games or I've gone to the bathroom, come back, and it started, and it's kicked me right out. Oh, yeah. I'm going to give the other team credit for them having a man down. They're doing a great job at keeping the game close. I hate that. When my team's AFK, I hate that. Because you put you at sausage, just a huge disadvantage. I almost didn't see that guy. Unless this guy's moving, because I think that's the AFK. He finally got kicked. I was gonna, he had to have been moving for how long he was in the game. He had to have uh, been moving or playing at one point. Cause I s no way he gets 150 points into a game. Can't run from me. There's one guy on the flank there. Two guys on the flank there. I should focus my energy on them. My teammate, yep, should pick that up. Finally dead to purple sheets. I think I was one kill off of another advanced UAV too. It feels like I have so many more kills in 54. I thought I was closer. I haven't really checked the scoreboard. I thought I was going to be close to like 65, 70.
Purple sheets once again. Homies just got my number, I guess. Up to 66. All right, 71. I'm really trying to push this kill count up. That's why I'm getting uber aggressive with it. I'm going to MGB it. This game's over. I don't think this guy saw me. Oh, actually, the game wasn't over, I guess. I probably could have locked in a couple more. 77 kills here on Rio. This map never disappoints me. One of my go-tos. I just get into that flow state.